so it uh, it occurred to me, I, I, I recognize that I left out a stroke. I uh, didn't properly follow the SPIVAC uh, continuity of strokes, right? And that's right, good. There you go. Really, that comes after the triple ratamacue. We worked on the ratamacues, <clears throat> and then we went from triple ratamacue to the 25th rudiment, which is okay. But and it doesn't mean we're going backwards. In fact, I'm sure that you'll will find this very interesting, right? Because we're we're going to reverse engineer the 25th rudiment in a sense, right? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Or we're going to <clears throat> re-engineer the Rademacue because it's really an extension, a continuation, the next development of what was the Rademacues. So do you have the compound stroke number two up? Okay. So now, as usual, we, we need to think about how we're going to play this using this technique. Because when I have you play these strokes, I'm not interested in the stroke necessarily. The stroke is a vehicle for you to learn this technique. So it's really about how we play these strokes, not about the strokes themselves, because we could, we could get them out with other techniques, we can muscle them out, we can do all kinds of things. <coughs> We're looking at uh, Pardon me. We're looking at uh, how to play this stroke. So uh, once again, just like the Rademacue, we have an appoggiatura, and we have a sixteenth note triplet, right? Just a Rademacue into a, an eighth note. Just a Rademacue. Ra da da da, ra da da da. Only now we're going to go ra da 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 da, a ra, right? And so, how are we going to play that? The Rademacue, let's see. Now, the uh, first eighth note played by the left, first iteration of sticking. I guess you, you could make a motion, because we don't have to make an accent playing a motion, or there could be a dot. Maybe Dick Wilson would put it, I don't, I, I don't see an accent. I do see an accent at the very end of the two bar phrase, which is the eighth note preceded by the left appoggiatura. Right? The dra it's a drag. Okay? So if there's only one accent, that means there's probably only going to be one upstroke. Yes. Right? Which, and, and that upstroke will, will be a single stroke. The up to the down, it's so important, Murray called it the single stroke. <clears throat> okay. So, how are we going to play that? Uh, I was thinking for the most part, using rebounds and single strokes until you get to the B2 of the second measure, where not the B2 would be, would be up to down. So go ahead and try this. You'll see that I'm I'm only I'm only throwing I'm only throwing for the 
last action. Up, down. Up, down. It's easy to want to make little throws because we could, but I think yeah. I think we should I think we should just work on on just turning our wrists. Yeah. We get to the single stroke at the end. So go ahead and try that. Is there a specific tempo you want me to play it at? Or? Let's play it a tempo right now. the stick is the instrument this, yeah. this is what's happening this is what's happening stay with me now we can get a lot done in a, in a shorter time if we really flow together we do that dance together <clears throat> See this, this is always available. Thank you, Richard Martinez. That's a Richard Martinez thing. Yeah. It's always available. Did, you ain't gonna get that the way you're playing singles. And you go to, you go to let it dribble. There you go. Can you turn your wrist with a three finger grip? Fourth and fifth. 
are just going to choke the stick. You don't have to hold them off. You just can't. The energy is emanating from the three finger grip. We're applying force through via a wrist turn to the lever arm that rocks over the fulcrum, which is a three finger grip. Okay. So how are we going to do that? Hmm. Go ahead and try to think again. <clears throat> It there, sorry. You see, it already sounds more relaxed. That's right. It does. And the six the sticks now have a higher pitch. Now I can hear that. Metronome on. Let's put the metronome on. Let's see. Nice and slow. Put the metronome on at 52. How little grip I need. Watch. I know it's out of control, right? Look. Yeah. <laughs> that it can be really loose, man. You don't have to be as tight as you think. It doesn't get tighter as I go faster. It didn't get it didn't get tighter, and it's just the tone, the character of the of the thing didn't change. As little as possible. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to trying to maintain the tone of the instrument. So we go faster, and suddenly we've retuned our instrument. Just do this. Let's see. No, 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 see, you're, you're doing this. the difference of it. Listen, listen. Look, look, at, look, look at this. That's all it is. It's a wrist turn. And this 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 was doing a wrist turn too. And I'm letting it bounce twice. Watch. Now that's all it is. Yeah, nice and relaxed. So just see if you can just just, yeah, right. No, turn a little higher. Wasn't I turning a little higher? See, this is what would happen, <clears throat> Joe, if you were to do a takedown of this lesson after the fact. 
you'd catch that and that would become perhaps important to you. Uh, uh, even though I showed you, and this happens all the time, as a student, as a teacher, noticing my students, it's amazing, right? Because the mind is swimming and, and even though you just looked at it, it's like you didn't quite see it, right? But it's like, it's, I'm turning about this high. I see like, is there like a little bit, is there like a little bit of a rebound happening there? Watch. It just stops. Whatever happens, happens, but it just stops. Look at this. Remember, <clears throat> we talked about there's these different positions. I, I talked to you about that, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so we have we have this position. Come on, try this. Come on up. Now look, I really feel like, just be careful with your fourth and fifth. I don't want you to hold them off and be uncomfortable, but just, just move them away a little bit for a sec, just for fun. And no, no, just a little, just, just so that I know you've got thick. I want, show me this, show me this grip. First finger and thumb, firm, comfortable and constant, not overly tight, but consistent. Right, right across from each other. Right, and and see, you're like this, and I'm like this. But I'm more. It's a little more straight, isn't it? And and the pressure between the first finger and thumb, they're kind of. It's there's an equal pressure. The first has a pressure towards the stick that is similar to the thumb's pressure towards the stick. Okay, you got that. Then we're putting the middle finger underneath. It's the crack of the first knuckle. First knuckle being right here, but on the other side, we have that, right? And see the fourth and fifth, you don't even need them. And you don't and you don't want the fulcrum to be too far down, pointing down. It's kind of it's just natural. I don't want to make too big a deal. Let's find it, right? If you're just gonna take it off, go ahead and take it off again. And then you're just gonna put it around the stick. Stick, notice the stick didn't change position. I didn't squeeze it, move the stick. Just put it, touch the stick. It's there, it's on the stick. Okay. Yeah, now you're up here, right? You're up here. It's come away from the palm a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's see, that looks pretty good. Now you're here, right? Now you can just take your fourth and just let it come in a little bit. Maybe even just touch the middle finger. Barely even touching. Mine isn't even touching the stick. And and now my fifth, but it touches the ring finger. It's not even touching. It could, but for now, I really want to, you to experience this three finger grip because that's really where it's at. Okay. Now we're up here, and we're just going to let it collapse. Just going to go like that. No. See, that's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> that's what I'm talking about. And you've caught to this yourself. It's one of the things that you've noticed. <clears throat> even though you're still doing it, you're you're intellectually aware of it, and you've had you've actually felt the idea of not slamming, right? We've talked about that a bit, more than a bit. I just want you to let it fall with a three finger grip. Just let it fall. Just just, just, just let it fall. Yeah, much better. I also, the first time you came up, here's what you did. You went, oh my God, no. You're just bringing it up, turning your wrist, and letting it fall. There you go. See, did the stick bounce around? No, it literally landed at solid, isn't it? From all the way up here. Look how easy that was. Don't add anything to it. Turn your wrist and bring it up. No, come on. I want you to just turn your wrist. It's not this. It's it's turning your wrist. Mine comes up a little more slowly. 
Cartine up up Cartine up 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 Go on. Keep doing it in time so I can I can copy you now and see what you're doing. There you go. That's a good one. Come on. One, two. One, two. One, two. This is a hinge. The wrist is a hinge. A fulcrum. Two. Okay. This time you're going to come come up and just come down. You added you added too much. You did something. I just want you to let it come down. There, there, there. Where are we here? We're at two about two thirty five. Two thirty five. You made a really good you made a really good stroke. So you're going to want to watch that. OK. Do that again. So it had to do, and in your takedown, you're going to you're going to write down the timing. Nope, that wasn't a good one. It comes up as a wrist turn. A wrist turn has a certain feeling as you turn up. I think I think you, you a little stiff and jerky on the way up. Can you come smoothly? Come on up. Just do this with me. Take the stick out of your hand for a minute. Just, just do this. There you go. It didn't go. It just went. Whoop. So you're just turning your wrist up. Do it again. Turn it up. That's a little too slow. We want to turn our wrist up. There, like that. Do it again. Too slow. It doesn't come up creeping. It just turns up nice and smooth. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Now put the stick in your hand and copy that. Too slow. You don't crank. No, you know, see how hard that is for you? Too fast. Didn't feel like that when you didn't have it. It's going to feel a lot like you don't even have a stick in your hand, really. A little better. Try a little more, a little more smooth and not so. Not, it's as if, well, just go ahead, try again. Turn your wrist, too fast. Just turn your wrist. Just, let's see. <laughs> Just turn your wrist. It's like, are, are you following the stick or is the stick following your, your hand or, and your wrist turn? You know, what would what would happen if you just gently toss a stick to yourself? Really? Look, I, I just I, uh, I'm just trying to grab it properly. I, I was a pretty good one. So watch, watch. Just tossing it gently up to myself. Try it. And just don't don't go lifting your arm up. Just just it was pretty good. Just. Just gently toss that stick up into your hand. Just toss it up to here. Don't bring your arm up. Go ahead. There, there. See, it feels more like just like that. Nice and smooth. Kind of, yeah. Now just, just turn your wrist as though, as though you've tossed it to yourself. Yeah, does it have that quality of being tossed? It almost feels like Watch, it almost feels like it. I'm just tossing it to myself. Here, just try this now. Just take the stick while you're holding it. Okay, it's very relaxed, three finger grip. And you're just going to, you have to be back a little further, back in here, if you're too far up. Yeah, kind of just, and just, let's see, what did I do? Just toss it up to yourself while it's still in your hand. Don't go lifting your arm up. That was pretty good. Just, just toss it up to yourself like this. Kind of. 
Okay, and then just let it fall. What felt better to me? It felt smoother and more relaxed. Yeah. yeah. No, nope, you threw it up too fast. Yeah, that was too abrupt. Yeah. That was better. Right. Now just let that fall. I could feel that. I know you could. There you go. Now just let that fall. Make us no. There. Okay. Twenty fifty seven. Another really good and and previous to that, what did I say? Twenty what was it? Twenty five fifty seven. And and previous was uh Toss, tossing it up to yourself. Okay, I have my notes. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down and watch this and, and, and take extensive notes. I already, but I already have this. And I already I'm sharing what I what I'm feeling with you. Yeah, there you go. And then you just let it fall. Now you're not slamming. Don't be don't jerky by tossing up too. Yeah, just, I mean that. Don't 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 just just don't blow this off now. Oh. So oh, it's this gentle toss. That's right, gentle toss. It's too fast. Watch. Just gently toss it up. Gently. Okay. Too much on the way down. You added something. I don't want you to add anything. You're, and you're throwing, throwing it up too fast now. It's just a gentle. Just, just take the whole thing in your hand and lift it up. Toss it to yourself. There. That was good. Okay. So you have that position, right? Now we. Well, there, there were times where I hit on it, where I really felt it. I really felt like I did it correctly. I see it's already much better. Okay, now we're coming up. We have this position, right? Yeah, you came up too too fast. And now we have this. There you go. Just don't use your arm. And then we have the next position where it falls to the back of the hand. Yeah. Right? Right? And now from here, right? We're just going to let it fall. Yeah. Can you come up to that position without being stiff and jerky? That's what Dick Wilson would say. Most drummers play stiff and jerky. He's right. Well, we want to be, as Chad Wackerman would say about uh, Murray Spivak, everything he did was elegant. Okay, so again, there, there is, again, there's, let's see. So see, it just, it just comes up. Here it doesn't, it's not coming up. It doesn't quite feel as much like a toss. It just feels like I'm helping it come up. That looked pretty good, I think. I was, wasn't quite, there you go. And then you don't add anything on the way down. Do it again. That was not bad, now just let it fall. There you go, see, now you're not slamming. And it's not quite as loud as the note before because you haven't come up as high. Because this technique is all about getting volume based on, on how, yeah, nice. Now the next iteration is, and this falls, then there's one right here, right? Somewhere in between. Okay, try it again. Come on up. Whoop. Ah, I caught myself. I didn't come up smoothly. Come on up to here. All the way. And then let it fall into the hand. And now, now there's going to be this next position. The third position. Okay, now from there, we're just going to let it fall. There, come on up. See if you can come up to that third position smoothly. There, let it fall. This has a little bit of a different feeling when I turn up. It's, it feels like, I think I'm correct in saying that this is remedial, but this is this can be really helpful. Absolutely. Okay. If you come up to here, when I, when I turn up, because because we're not coming up so high, more of the weight of the stick is in front of the grip. It it feels feels a little bit more like I'm cranking it up, just a little bit. It feels a little different, feels a little heavier. And then you're just gonna let it fall. Don't add anything. Do it again. Bring it up smoothly. That was good. That was good. Bring it up and let it fall. You think you're good. There, it's a little quieter. Okay, now we're going to come up to here. Because we have this iteration, then we have this, we have this, then we have maybe two inches above parallel, which is about a half inch to an inch, so it's a little higher than you are. Two and a half inches up. 
come on. Now, you're more like you're at the floor. Okay? That's why it's important to decide what your floor is. Probably should have started by making sure that you understood that everything is emanating from where you decide the floor is, which is here for me. Butt end can't be too high. OK, so show me the floor. If the floor doesn't mean you're dipping the bead down to get to the floor. The, the floor means you're parallel to the surface, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe parallel to the floor itself, because your pad is your unmatched grip. Okay, but just make sure the butted end isn't too high. Up uh, isn't too high. Okay, so that's your floor. So we come up to here. We have this position. Ah, uh, you got yourself. I know you felt it. Wasn't quite right. Too. It's okay though. Now let it fall into the hand. Okay, that's next position. Then we have that third position. That's the third stream. And then we have the next position. Too low. You turn too. You're too low. Don't turn. Come on, come back up to the third position. Okay, come down from there and leave about there. Even maybe just a little higher. Just a tiny bit higher. A little higher. A little bit. There you go. From there, I just want you to let it fall. Okay. There you go. You brought it up really nicely. Not that high, don't come up that high. Come up too high. You're still coming up too high. A little less. Are you at the floor? Or is your bead dipping too low? No. Coming up too high and you're adding shit on the way down. There you go, let it drop. Oh, there it is. There it is. I hear the sound of the stick. Lo and behold. This stick has a note. Here, it's real high pitched. Boop. Nice and solid too, huh? Right in that three finger grip. Can you feel it in your three, three finger grip when you land? Yeah. Oh, you added something. Your thing. Come on, lift it up and let it come down. There you go. There you go. Now do that again. Okay. Now we're back to where we started. See? So isn't that, isn't that what the right hand is doing over and over? But uh, come on, just keep doing that other thing. No, you're slamming. No, nope, it just did. It's just coming up. What, three and a half inches? So I'm doing and then falling. There, there. Do that over and over. Nope, you slammed. You're slamming. Come on. Remember gravity? Here, I'll read it to you. Let's see, it's in here somewhere. Yeah. In bold print, technically, I teach, this is Richard Wilson, right? Breaking the Limits, Teachers Forum, Modern Drummer, 96. Technically, I teach from a standpoint of floors, balances, and fulcrums, observing the conclusions of Archimedes, Galileo, and Isaac Newton, using the acceleration of gravity and the theory of mass. That would be cool. We, need to, we both need to Google what is the theory of mass. Okay, so the acceleration of gravity. In other words, there's gravity involved. Right? He used that word. So pay attention. 
to the theory of Galileo and Archimedes and Newton and the theory of mass and and uh, 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 recognize that with, with the human construct it's just really a simple machine on this planet based on the physics of this planet so that we have a, a, a gravity that is affecting mass in a certain way different than on Jupiter right Jupiter would be really hard the thing is tick feel different and then oh, oh my god it would it would it would want to come wouldn't it okay so just go back to the that three and a half inch turn whatever we decide that is right? and but let it just let it let it collapse just like you did in in practice remedially and it just does it over and over try to try it Okay, now your other hand isn't feeling it. Do it in, in the other hand, because I want to keep moving. In the other hand, do this. In the other hand, just go, uh, let's see. What was I doing? So I just want you to just, it's this. So it's, it's, even, it's an even smaller turn. Yeah, how about I'm gonna come up here now? How about to here? Here's here's the floor. To how why the floor is so important? Because this is like a machine and everything is is emanating from a certain position. Okay. The drawbridge for cars to pass over the drawbridge. It has to come down to here every time. It can't come down to there, or we're gonna have a lot of people driving into the ocean, right? Okay, we want it. So it always comes back here, and then when it lifts up, it lifts up. Probably by some kind of ratchet system or hydraulic system, but it's very precise, engineered perfectly. Okay, so how, how are you going to come up? It is a grace note, it is an appoggiatura, so. You come up to here. Okay, so. Me where tell me where the right's going to come up to where the left's going to come up to there it's going to look kind of like that because this is what you've been looking like this is real down here sponged and then even when you've started to get this to fall this is the one to be way down here no, no, no. okay so just just do this with me watch this is a, be another way to get it Come so that you're in this position. A little higher on the left. Come on, turn your wrist up a little. See, you don't know where your floor is. You can't tell. You haven't really figured out where your floor is. All right? Come up what? Three and a half inches? Left. Come up two and a half inches. Maybe a tiny bit more on the left to give you a little more feeling of momentum. And here you go. And just. Let them fall. Pretty good. Try it again. We'll just play one note on the left. Do it again. Interesting, isn't it, Joe? It is. Interesting. It, because because one is so much close, not, too, not too high on the left, because one is closer, you can almost let them fall at the same time. Because one is going to get there a little sooner. Do it again. There you go. Now this time, let the left bounce. Watch your three finger grip. Don't go doing something with your fourth and fifth. Careful in the left, particularly. Come on. You can kind of bring them up more to get together, but that's okay. And then you're just going to let the left drop and get two notes, and the right's just going to get one. Ta-da! Not bad. Don't add anything. Don't start slamming. Do that again. Not too hard left. It'll be too loud. It's an repository, but try it again. Not bad. Can you do that the other way? The other way? Try that the other way. Now, if I see how much more relaxed it is. Oh my God, Joe. 
Ah, there we go. You're not crushing the stick. So I want to, because I want to keep moving here, and I, I know you have a time constraint today. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I do, and I, my friend invited me over to his house for dinner. And, okay. Uh, well, I'm a musician, and you can take your drumsticks. I don't know. Uh, uh, that's what you're going to work on. You're going to work on. Going to work. Skid. And you're going to work on it a tempo, in other words, without a metronome. Okay. Now, it's going to—it's part of the compound stroke number two. Mm -hmm. In that you're not going to practice the compound stroke number two. It did it, but it, it means that you're going to try to incorporate this feeling into the playing of it. Yeah, absolutely. Now, now, it's a definite feeling. Absolutely. Rob, let's see. How would we do this? Maybe it's too fast. See? That's all it is. Now it goes. But if you can just get this, this will lead you into it. Because you know that this height of turn, after you play the initial, after the initial drag, you're just going to turn. Okay? Let's try that. I'm going to take you, I'm going to take you where I was going to take you in a little bit of a different way. So, we're just gonna we're breaking we're really breaking this down, right? You want me to just go so you didn't do it. Fascinating, isn't it? So we're going back to your other thing. You've already lost it. That's classic. But but you're gonna get it back. Watch. We don't need to play in we don't even need to play in time. It's this positioning. This is a Richard Martinez thing, right? The different heights. Right, right. Dick Wilson didn't do that. Murray hated the idea. He's yelling and screaming at Chuck Silverman. I don't want to talk about how many inches you are off the surface. That's core drumming. I don't know. We because he didn't like it, but for whatever reason. But this can be a very useful tool. So what we're doing is we're here, watch. We're, we're up here, right? and this one is here. And we know we're going to get. We're not exactly at that sort of three inch and two and a half, three inch in the right hand, two and a half inch in the left, are we? Is that oh, what we need we need t-shirts with different levels of height of potential. <laughs> right? They could inch it. They could be a different color. We turn her turn to uh, stage three or height three or whatever, right? I called that the, the, the third stream, right? About the third stream music, right? Combination of where they integrated. That was uh, it's famous for these. these uh, and he actually uh, wrote a letter for Richard Wilson to the National Endowment. They're talking about that Richard was a genius and uh, helped him get those those National Endowment grants. Uh, but he was inside on that tip of my tongue. But he was, he was considered the father of third stream music, which is the combining of jazz and symphonic. Yeah. And so what we're doing here is we're, we've got this height of turn and this height of turn. Yeah, something like that, and we go, oh, and we know there it is. See, and we know we're going to get that. Try it. Okay, now, so after we do that, after we go, let's just see. So it's going to be that. Why, why, why do you go like this? It'll be too quiet. You're not. Aren't all three? Aren't the all three of the uh, 
these triplets and the eighth note following, aren't they all the same volume? So, yeah. so, so this is how high we're going to turn. The same type of turn that you're right started with. Don't slam now. Just come up to that height. There you go, not bad. Then it would go the other way. Don't slam. Then you're then you're going to then you're going to play the same figure with the left uh, the right drag left appoggiatura, and you're going to maintain that height of turn for six for, for six singles. Right? I'm gonna go. Now it's gonna go, it's gonna change. So let's just see if you can do that. Oh, I raised too high on my left. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, now at this speed, maybe it wouldn't be an upstroke. Ah, 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 oh. So we're going to now incorporate that. Uh, 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 up. Uh. Okay. Now we have that single stroke to consider. Don't slam. Just that's where those. Yeah. Not bad. We also don't need to slam. Just like watch. Just like because really when we're let's see if we're making a throw. Hold on. See, we're only, we're only we're only turning about this high, right? For the throw, which is what we did. What would that be? Like, here's the first iteration, second. Maybe that'd be like the third iteration. We're only coming up that much. And what did it feel like to make a wrist turn from there? It felt like that, didn't it? Do it. No, it's a little higher, and don't come up so stiff, dude. Look, it's smooth. And then just let that fall with the three finger grip. Do it again. There you go. Now, all you're going to see, you didn't have to shove down. This time, all I want you to do is, is pronate, right? Leave the bead down. Go up, leave the bead down, and then make that little wrist turn. No, 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 watch. You leave the bead down. You leave the bead down, and then like that. Okay, if you're just here, look, you know what it feels like to do this. I just want you to start doing that from here as your own pulse. Better. You don't need to do this now. Joe, so you don't need to go. You don't need to draw. You just need, just like you didn't do that when you were here and let it fall. Yeah, yeah. I guess you could, you know, see, you can't come to the floor and do that because you, you start making that turn just a little bit before the forearm gets to the floor, so they catch up with each other. Do it again. No, you're, you're, you're there. It feels like a normal, just do a regular wrist turn. There you go. So you don't have to, you don't have to go. Ah. There, it's just a motion. With that gentle wrist turn that you're learning. Okay, now you're gonna, you're gonna play the second bar of the compound stroke number two. This stroke is really cool. It's really uh, helping with regards to where you are right now. Perfect. So again, rat -da 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 up to a gentle throw. No, no, you lost your height and everything. There. Come on, bring it left up a little. Go for it. Do it again. Here you go. Don't try to turn for the 16th notes. No, you slam the downstroke. It was perfect until the downstroke. No, don't, don't blow this off. There! At 50 50-19. 
downstroke. All right. OK, so now you're getting it. That, that's what that's the concept involved here. Right. These aren't just empty words. No, no, that's well, you know, this idea that in this technique we get our our volume from how high we turn. Well, not for you, not until now. Because that that was that wasn't incorporated in your thinking. You would just you play it any old way. What were you doing? Kind of like that, right? It's like no thinking. What volume do I want this to be? If I, if, if that. Yeah, everything was like the same height, the turn sort of. Your agitura, maybe a little lower. And then you just kind of dig in. And everything was, right? Instead of. Huh. A lot easier than you think, isn't it? If you take the time to consider these, these aspects of this technique. Okay. I'll watch the video and do a thorough takedown of everything that was discussed and demonstrated. Cool, man. That's cool. Okay, so now I want to let's just uh, let's just take this as a jumping off point. I know you have to get going. Uh, but so if we're going, how fast is that? I mean, could we could we possibly like maybe like the next lesson because I because I really have to leave. You know, is there any way in the next lesson we could? Well, Joe, do you have like another ten minutes? Uh, not really. Uh, I thought he's sending me a message here. You're coming over. Because I can uh, I can button this up in about ten minutes. I, I can't. I can't, Kevin. I, I, I'd love to, but I'm keeping people waiting. OK. Yeah, this wasn't like this was this was it was hard to squeeze this lesson. It would have been better if I if we had the lesson earlier today. I, I backed it up for you. You should have told me and we would have moved in even more. But Joe, we uh, were already at just in the teeth, let alone the hanging. We're, we're, we're here. It, we're looking at an hour already, but yeah. uh, it, it, it's it's fine. We'll have to pick things up next time. What I will say is that this lesson should not be not taken seriously because you really, really got a lot interestingly, you know, so perhaps whatever it was, the fact that we had to be really precise in terms of our our relating back and forth with one another. You stayed right with me all the way through. So you went from coming in as a drummer who was just slamming all tight, totally choking the sound of the stick. Yeah. And you went from that to relaxing your grip and not forcing everything so that it's all down, down. No, we have to come up to come down. Where's the up to come down? And through that understanding, you actually were able to accomplish going from a stick that was totally choked. And when you listen back, listen to how goes from a stick that's completely choked to a stick that becomes an actual instrument and sings, actually sings. It has a note. Okay, good job. Turning up. Okay. <laughs>